sky The mind of its own The die will spin They'll take to the sky They'll tackle anything that comes their way From their home in the remote outback Nobody friends is action packed Ranger team, here he goes Nobody friends, nobody drunk Ranger team, here he goes Ranger Tom rocks cooks Ranger Tom rocks cooks Tom Rocks, but you can call me Ranger T, and I'm here with my best friend, Numbat. Numbat, our special guests have arrived. Please say hello everyone to Rachel. Yo. And Stephanie. What's up? Hi girls, and welcome to Numbat's Kitchen. Today on Numbat's Kitchen, we're going to cook up a storm with Ranger Tom. And our dish of the day is pavlova with fruit all over. What's the first thing we need, girls? The ingredients. Wow. What's the first ingredient we need, girls? Some strawberries. Let me get this out of the way for you. What else, Rachel? Fantastic. What else, Steph? A few raspberries. Uh, raspberries. That's one of my favourites. What else, Rachel? Um, kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit. And? Two tubs of cream. Two tubs of cream. And what's the secret ingredient? Vanilla essence. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, girls. Now, to make our pavlova with fruit all over, we need to put the cream into the bowl. Rachel, can you grab the bowl for us? Oh, great work. We'll move that out of the way. That's a good job, moving the food. Now, Stephanie, can you please pour the cream into the bowl? Oh, look at that. Cream into the bowl. Geez, that looks good. That's going well, isn't it? Okay, now, Rachel, can you please whip the cream? Oh, that's noisy. Oh, ho, ho. oh that's good. Now don't whip it too much because if you whip cream too much, what does it turn into, girls? Butter! That's right! And what we want, we want lovely beaks on the top of our pavlova with fruit all over. What a great job! Keep going, Rach. That's going well. That's mixing up beautifully. Now, Stephanie, can you please pour the secret ingredient, shh, don't tell anyone, vanilla essence into the whipped cream mixture as Rachel is doing it. One teaspoon. Oh, good girl, well done. Oh, that's great. And that gives it its lovely flavor. Oh, gee, that's going well. How's the cream going? Good job there. Excellent job. Okay, now give Stephanie a go at uh, doing, the, doing the, the, the mixing up. Good girl, Rach, give Stephanie a go. How's that going, Steph? Can you turn it on? And it's noisy again. <laughs> oh, good job. Well, that's going well, isn't it, girls? That's going veggie, beautiful. Veggie, 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 well, C2 at semi-finals time again, as the Nasty Pumpkin returns to take on the Rock Mallet. Yes, he won. The Veggie Cage Match build is now getting closer. Will the Nasty Pumpkin go Halloween on his opponent? Or will the Rock God Rock Melon make pumpkin soup out of his opponent? Okay, C1, we're about to find out, because here they come. Please make welcome the Nasty Pumpkin Veggie and the Rock Melon. Okay, boys, we want a nice, clean match. Remember, there are no rules. Okay, ready, steady, go. Veggie cake match. Veggie, 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 it's a veggie cake match. Veggie, 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 it's a veggie cake match. Veggie, 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 it's a veggie cake match. Veggie cake match. Wow, C2, the nasty pumpkin is living up to his name and attempting to eat the eyebrows off the rock melon. 
That's right, Z1. He's going scary pumpkin. Yes, he too. He's a nasty, nasty pumpkin. Look out. Rock Melon is throwing his weight around and attempting to cross the pumpkin. That's right, C2. Rock Melon wants the title. Yes, he won. It's all over for Nasty Pumpkin. What was that? Looks like Psycho Celery's up to his old tricks again. He's a lunatic. Well, C2, the Rock Melon has done it again, and he's also through to the final round. Yes, he won. Rock Melon had a sweet, sweet victory and made soup out of Nasty Pumpkin. Remember, viewers, don't try this at home. These veggies are trained professionals. Yes, he too. Tune in again next week. Remember, bullying is very uncool. Yes, he won. See you next time on. Veggie, 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 it's a veggie cake, man. Veggie, 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 it's a veggie cake, man. Veggie, 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 it's a veggie cake, man. Veggie cake, man. Veggie, 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 it's a veggie cake, man. I'm cooking. Welcome back to Numbat's Kitchen. Well, in our last part of the episode, we whipped the cream and we put in the secret ingredient, shh, don't tell anyone, vanilla essence. Now, we're going to make our pavlova with fruit all over. Okay, we grab the pavlova base. Let's bring that round there, Steph. I'll give you a hand. Good job, well done. Now, you grab your spatulas, Rachel and Steph, and you can make the top of the pavlova, and you can make it any way you like. And just remember at home, you can make your pavlovas little pavlovas, or you can make big pavlovas. You can make them any way you like. <laughs> oh, what a great job. Look at the job they're doing there, Number. That looks fantastic, yeah. Get it on there, girls. What a great job. Oh, that looks numbat delicious. Oh, it's making me so hungry. Ho oh, ho! Wonderful. Oh, smooth it all out there, girls. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I think we got a good job for you girls bricklaying after this. What a fantastic <laughs> Doesn't that look great? Wonderful job. Okay. <laughs> now, ah, now girls, it's time to put the fruit on top of the pavlova. Are you ready? Who's going to start? with fruit all over. And here comes the fruit. Oh, oh doesn't that look brilliant, Number? Wonderful. Oh, this is making me so hungry. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, what a great job. Say no to bullies, bully, bully, bullies aren't welcome me. Bully, 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 just say no to bullies, bully, bully, bullies aren't welcome me. We can always work things out. Please don't push me around or talk behind my back that makes me feel sad. When you're a bully, 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 just say no to bullies, bully, bully, bullies aren't welcome me. Bully, 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 just say no to bullies. Bully, bully, bullies aren't welcome me. Do you intend to cause me harm? Or 
repeatedly make rude remarks Do you understand just what you're doing? When you're a bully, 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 just say no to bullies Bully, bully, bullies aren't welcome here Bully, 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 just say no to bullies Bully, bully, bullies aren't welcome here Bully, 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 just say no to bullies Bully, bully, bullies aren't welcome here Bully, 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 just say no to bullies Bully, bully, bullies aren't welcome here Just say no to bullies Just say no to bullies just say no to bullies. Hi guys, it's me, Ranger T. Here's a recipe list for this week's dish of the day. Check this out. Welcome everyone to the Numbat and Friends. Who wants to come up and have a sing and have a dance? Put your hands up, I can't hear you. Is that a yeah? Excellent, that's better. We love you the most. Numbat, you're our number one. Everyone, Numbat. They don't walk back. They don't walk backwards. They don't walk back. One bag. One bag. One bag. One bag. Yeah. Talking about the one bag. Talking about it. Talking about it. Talking about the one bag. Talking about it. Talking about it. Talking about the one bag. Dogs like no one else can. There he is in his hot dog van. Makes the best dogs. Mickey can. Hey! Hot dog man. Hot dog man. Hot dog man. Hot dog man. I'm cooking. <laughs> we love to sing and dance, and it's a great way to get exercise. Now presenting, da 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 da, pavlova with fruit all over. Now we love cooking in Numbat's kitchen, but we also love going on wonderful adventures. Everyone, we're here at Hillsville Sanctuary and we're here to learn about all the endangered animals and what we can do to help them. Are you ready, Numbat? Oh, let's check it out. Hi everyone, we're here at the Numbat enclosure with Julie, who's gonna tell us all about Numbats and where they came from and what we can do to help. Hi Julie. Hi Ranger T, nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Hi Numbat. Where does your numbat come from and what's her name? Our numbat's name is Tani. Um, so Tani came to us from Perth Zoo. She's in retirement here at Healesville Sanctuary. Uh, so she's living the nice easy life in our nocturnal house for the animals of the night. So she came to us all the way from Perth in Western Australia. Uh, it was a bit of a journey for Tani, but she settled in well um, into our enclosure here. 
So even though she's in the enclosure for the animals of the night, she's actually diurnal, which means she's awake during the day and sleeps at night just like us. Uh, but Tani uh, has a special enclosure in our nocturnal house that mimics uh, dusk and dawn so that everyone can still see her when they go down to see our nocturnal animals. And Tani, does, Numbat sleeps in a giant hollow log. Where does, where does Tani sleep? Well, we've made a, a little bit of a replica of a hollow log, I guess you could say, for her to sleep in. Um, she normally would find one uh, naturally, but for us it's hard to check on her if she's in a big log. So we've made special uh, nest boxes that are about that long, but quite narrow, like a hollow log might be. And she brings her own bedding, grass and bark and all sorts of things, to make a nice cylindrical little nest inside that log. Fantastic. And Numbat, he eats dry roasted termites. He likes his dry roasted on the barbecue. What does Tani eat? Uh, Tani would love some termites, uh, probably not on the barbecue, but she does love termites. Numbats eat exclusively termites in the wild and she could consume up to a thousand a day. Um, unfortunately, it's really hard to come by that many termites. So what we have here at Hillsville Sanctuary is a special recipe to create a, a delicious custard mush that Tawny just goes nuts for. And that replicates all the nutritional requirements of termites. I know, can you believe it? <laughs> um, so that she gets everything she needs. And then the termites for her are a special treat that we give her so she can find them in little rotten logs that we find with termites. Um, so that's a nice little topping on her uh, ice cream, I guess you could say. Fantastic. Now, numbats, as we know, are a highly endangered species. What are some of the challenges that face the numbat in the wild? That's a great question. Numbats, yeah, aren't doing so well in the wild because they're quite small. You know, females are only 500 grams and males 600 grams, and they actually forage out in the open and um, are awake during the day, like I said before. So with numbats being awake during the day and searching for termites, they actually are susceptible to um, birds of prey and other animals that might be out looking for a tasty treat. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that means the numbat um, has a bit of trouble to deal with over there. So for the numbat hiding in a hollow log or in the brush um, is their way to escape, but it's uh, quite unusual for mammals in Australia to be awake during the day and foraging. Um, so that puts them at, at risk. Uh, there's also obviously um, introduced uh, foxes and cats and things like that that could pose a risk to numbats um, and the environment that they live in just keeps shrinking so it's a few different things coming together for them and that's why they have a breeding program out in western Australia uh, to help the numbats in the wild. Terrific. Now how can we help? How can the boys at gir and girls at home, how can they help the numbat? Julie? So people um, at home can help the numbats by uh, going and visiting um, some websites to do with the numbats, uh, even look through the zoo website here at Hillsville Sanctuary to get some links. Um, but it's really just about spreading the word, getting some uh, knowledge out there about protecting numbats um, and donating to the programs that they have to protect them. But also something very, very simple that everyone can do, protect the habitat that they might live in, the forest that they need, by just using recycled toilet paper. So it's something we tell people here at Hillsville Sanctuary all the time. It sounds really easy, but using recycled toilet paper means that you're not cutting down trees to wipe your bum. I know it's funny talking about bums, but uh, it's a really easy way everyone can help save some wildlife. That's fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Julie, for being part of this endangered animal species, <laughs> the numbat, which is very close to our hearts. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. Wow, thanks very much, Julie, no. for telling us all about the numbat and what we can do to help. Hi boys and girls, well that was brilliant. We saw Numbat, one of your relatives, Tani, and now we're gonna teach you a very special move at home and you can do this too. And this is called the Numbat Click. Are you ready Numbat? Here we go. First of all, we put our hands on the hips and we say, always remember. And then we go, your best trick is the Numbat Click. That's excellent, well done, weren't they brilliant? Well done boys and girls. We'll do it one more time and we'll do it nice and slow so you can watch it with us, are you ready? Here we go, you ready Numbat? Always remember, your best trick is the Numbat click. One more time, are you ready boys and girls? Here we go. Always remember, your best trick 
is the Numbat Click. <laughs> wow, what a fantastic time we've had at Hillsville Sanctuary. We'd like to thank the staff and the keepers of the sanctuary for making it all possible. And we'd also like to thank all the wonderful endangered animals who took part. Okay, we'll see you next time on Endangered Animals. Check this out. I've had a lot of fun cooking with you today, Ranger T. And for your fruity pavlova, I give you an 8 out of 10. I had a lot of fun too, um, making this pavlova with fruit all over and I give you a score of 7 out of 10. Well, that's all we've got time for today. We'd like to thank our little ranger chefs, Rachel and Stephanie, for being on the show. And what a show it was! Like Beyond Ranger Tom Rocks Cooks, simply check out the website. Goodbye, everyone! It's on, the dial will spin, they'll take to the sky, they'll tackle anything that comes their way. From their home in the remote outback, nobody friends is action packed. Ranger team, here he goes, nobody friends in the nobody trunk. Ranger team, here he goes, Ranger Tom rocks cool. Tom Rocks Cook Ready, steady, go.